Hi everyone, so in this short video I will present uh, the content of my lecture uh, Homotopy 2 uh, given at the University of Paris in uh, 2021. Alright, so this lecture is about homotopy theory and homotopy theory as you know can be studied in many different settings for example topological spaces, simplicial sets which is a kind of like a combinatorial replacement for topological spaces uh, chain complexes and homotopy theory in chain complexes is more traditionally called homological algebras and, and so on. Uh, and these settings all share different uh, features and the goal of this lecture is to first of all unify these different settings by their common features using a common framework. We will be able to compare different homotopy theories and for example we will be able to show that Topological spaces and simplicial sets have the same homotopy theory. We are going to give a precise definition of what it means to be the same. Then we finally will be able to apply this framework to new settings. So, for example, nonlinear homological algebra. Right. So, the first uh, idea is to unify these different settings. And in order to unify them, we are going to search or common features between different homotopy theories. And the key idea will essentially be to look for long exact sequences. In chain complexes, we know how to give long exact sequences. Whenever we have an injective map i from a to b, we have this long exact sequence that relates the homology of a, the homology of b, and the homology of a co-kernel, or also called the quotient. And dually, in some sense, if we, if we have a surjective map from E to B, then we have a, a long exact sequence that relates the homology of E with the homology of B in the homology of a kernel. Right. And our, the idea of uh, what we are going to do in this lecture is to look for similar exact sequences in topological spaces, extract the core content of a uh, technology, and then give a more categorical, very general definition of all this. Right. And in topological spaces, the analogous objects of injective maps and surjective maps are vibrations and co-vibrations. And these maps satisfy a bunch of properties. And these properties were formalized by, by Quillen into the notion of what is called model categories. And there are many different model categories. So a model category is a category with extra structure, the choice of vibrations and co-vibrations, and weak equivalences, which is the object that we want to identify. And he managed to extract the core content of what it means to have a homotopy theory, which behaves well with respect to vibrations and co-vibrations. And chain complexes, topological spaces, and simplicial sets all fit into this framework. Our next goal is to be able to compare homotopy theory. Because as you know, simplicial sets are somehow a replacement for topological spaces. But what does this actually mean? And this notion can be formalized using model categories. There is a notion which is called equivalent equivalence and two model categories. So again, two categories with this extra structure of vibrations, co-vibrations, and weak equivalences. Uh, are said to be Quillian equivalent if they satisfy certain properties. And if this is the case, then the category that you obtain by starting from your category and identifying homotopy equivalent objects is equivalent to the one that you get when you start from D. And the uh, main theorem of the lecture will be that simplicial sets and spaces, topological spaces, have, are Quillian equivalent. So they have the same homotopy theory in a precise sense. All right. The last goal of the lecture will be to find new settings for homotopy theory. And a key motivation of model categories is to be able to do nonlinear homological algebras. So, for example, homological algebras with rings or associative algebras or Lie algebras, which is a very difficult problem. Because in chain complexes, it's easy some sense to know when two morphisms are homotopy equivalent. You just need to check if their difference is homotopy equivalent to zero, which is uh, some conditions uh, that you, you can check algebraically. 
But if you have an algebra, for example, or a ring, then the difference of two morphisms is not a morphism anymore. So you cannot work like this. And model categories provide the convenient way to make these uh, computations, even when you have a nonlinear setting. And at the end of this lecture, we are going to work in characteristic zero, and we are going to make precise what I mean by this, and study topological spaces in characteristic zero, and prove that they are quillian equivalent, so it means that they have the same homotopy theory as something else, which is purely algebraic, which is called commutative differential graded algebra, which is a purely algebraic object. And as a result, uh, rational homotopy theory is something that satisfies every algebraic topology stream in that it becomes purely algebraic. Uh, the cohomology of the space will be the cohomology of the algebra, the rational homotopy groups will be the Harrison cohomology of the algebra, and so on. You can make all the computations you want about your spaces just from the commutative differential gradient algebra. All right. Uh, so just a word about how this fits into the curriculum. So there was uh, in the first part of the semester the course of Emmanuel Wagner on homology, and there was also the course of Renaud Vallet on homotopy, where he studied uh, simplicial sets. And in some sense, this course can be seen as kind of like a, a lowest common denominator between these two courses. You have homotopy theory of same complexes here, homotopy theory of simplicial sets here, and here it's a general notion for which both apply. All right, and then a natural continuation of this course is the course given by Muriel Liverney on higher categories, uh, which is a kind of like getting rid of this extra structure of vibrations and co-vibrations, which are uh, interesting, but they are auxiliary data, which are not strictly necessary to do homotopy theory. All right. So I hope you will enjoy the course, and I will let you look at my website for more details on it.